last. We have started our bacon on a colder grill, but the grill is heating up fast. It's at 205 right now. This side is 142. 156. I'd like to have a hot side and a cool side, but with only two burners, that may not be possible. <laughs> side we'll start our sausage. It looks like the back of the grill is going to be hotter than the front. That's pretty obvious because the flame starts about right here. Yeah the flame starts about right here and goes like this way. Three ten in the middle of the bacon. Two thirty four at the bottom of the grill. Two sixty at two seventy at the top of the grill. There's no breeze blowing. We are outside. But the temperatures really do range. But my intention today is to get familiar with where the hot spots are. Bacon is definitely cooking in the direct center faster than the ends. But don't the ends usually cook fast slower anyway? Getting close to it's getting close to 400, and I don't think we want it that hot. Stick it over here in the corner. The grill over there is at 228. The grill here is at 40, 425. That is really high. It's going to cut it down to low. And uh, it'll be fine for the sausage. We're going to cook our meats and things on a, a hot grill. Our eggs, cheeses, and everything else will be cooler. This is concerning because that sausage is sticking quite a bit, but I would imagine that sausage probably has sugar in it.
Some would say that I'm messing with it too much. Might get a little noisy here because we're going to do some scraping. still quite warm. It's dropping a little bit. It's 373. Keeping our meat warm over here at 141. 155. Grill itself is 222. That's still going to maintain some cooking. I want to put some eggs on, but I do not want the eggs on a super hot grill. All right, we're going to do a quick cool down then. Okay, so we're going to try to do just about half of these. Okay, so that's not going to work. Okay, that's a that's going to be a scrambled egg. I think this is where the double spatula system comes in. Go up to the side and flip. Oh, I know exactly what this egg is going to be for. So there are levelers here at the back of the grill. So lesson learned, next time I will crank that down and I will use a leveler so that the eggs are not running towards the front. So, spatulas I like though, they're really a... Uh, Easy to handle. They're noisy. But look how those tortillas are popping right up. And uh, you see what just happened? We need a plate here pretty soon. These tortillas started out being butter flavored and then I cooked them in butter, so they're, they're going to be buttery. Do I have the grill too cold? 400. 256. I'm just wanting that tortilla a little bit more crunchy. We're going to create an egg dam. And I'm going to try to pour these eggs in as much of a square pattern as I can.
eggs are at 160. Grill is at 336. That side of the grill is 319. Cool side is 210. So this side, you can see, is cooking slower than this side. That's okay, because what we're going to do is we load up this side. Or should I load up that side? I think I'll load up that side. You know what? Let's just load up both sides. Let's have a bit of bacon in there, too. Bacon looks delicious. Oh, well, we need to have cheese. It's extra sharp cheddar cheese and Oaxaca. And this is going to be just a royal mess. It's two omelets, two in one. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, oh, oh. How about some uh, green onion? Will that make you sick? Is that enough green onion? You want more. Don't tell me this, don't tell me this. Pour it to the center there, let that thicker egg cook a little bit more. That's a one flip omelet. If I would have put less filling, I could have done the ends, ends, side and side. God, it smells good, doesn't it? Just, wah, la. You get uh, two more pieces of bacon. Just throw that on there. Turn this off. Scrape the grill. 